Hello, today's devotional can be found in Romans chapter 5, verse 11. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Okay, so. We received the atonement, so we are no longer burdened by our sins and sorrows and weaknesses. We are able to move past them and become better than we are not bound to stand in the shadows of our imperfections. We can cast them aside and become perfect after time. We have the right to the blessings and healing power of the atonement. We have the right to have joy through God. We have the right to turn to God for help. If only in our hearts, we have the right to be grateful and express love for Jesus Christ. We have the right to learn. We have the right to grow. We have the right to receive the atonement as it is freely offered to us each and every day of our lives. We have the right to move past our natural man, the carnal man, the man who acts on impulse quite often, and we have the right to become a joyous, happy, spiritual people. And we have the right to rejoice, for the Lord loves us, and we have the right to be loved by the Lord and we have the right to give love to the Lord. Nobody can dictate our rights to us, but through our choices we either keep or lose our rights because by making wrong choices and creating habits we become trapped in our choices. But by making right choices we keep our agency open and available for our for use. And because of the atonement, when we make a mistake, we are not bound to that mistake. We can do better. And we can repent and let that go. We have the right to have joy through God and Jesus Christ, so let's choose to take advantage of it. We shouldn't want to be miserable and trapped in our sins and our weaknesses. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.